Hi, Dan Midwest Technical Sales, our friendly cameraman Richard behind the camera. We've been a little tardy in getting some of these videos out to you. Uh, we moved to a new facility and for a number of other reasons we just haven't gotten around to it. But I had a pretty good idea for putting this together. Um, first one was really looking at our repairs. Why are we getting these drives in for repair? Simple. They don't work. <laughs> Why don't they work? Uh, and a lot of it is debris buildup. So what I want to show you is sort of a portable device for cleaning up your environment. I didn't invent this. I was watching a science show, a university professor from Michigan State talked about air pollution, air quality. And I said, oh, that's a pretty good idea. And then it just didn't click that we could also use that to help our customers out. Now we have customers who have tape drives in all kinds of environment. Some of the most contaminated ones are manufacturing facilities, places they do woodworking, places that cut stone. Uh, th those kinds of places are really prone to dirt and really the most dirt and debris comes in from your shoes. Well, you ask a customer, is your environment clean? And they say, oh yeah, yeah, it's real clean, no problem. Well, we get the tape drive in and it looks terrible, okay? So we, we've uh, suggested this to a couple of our customers and they were really pleased, you know? So I'm sharing it with you. Simple kind of a concept. Very first thing over here is what we purchased to make this, okay? So what we have, a box fan, okay? Alaska box fan, less than 25 bucks, free delivery on eBay, whatever. Uh, this is a 20 by 20 uh, filter, and you can get any kind of a filter you want. I mean, you can spend, you know, 20, 30 bucks on a HEPA filter if that you want. You can buy just a little better filter and put it in. But once you have this particular device running, you'll get a pretty good handle on uh, the kinds of things that uh, as much debris as you, you have in your system. So what it looks like um, when it's running and put together, um, you know, we're not rocket scientists, but we just stuck a piece of Velcro on the bottom. We have the Velcro on the top. So it just holds the fan in this particular position. So when you turn the fan on, you know, we've got the filter with the arrow pointing for the airflow. So you can figure that one out. But when you turn it on, you, know, you can just run it on low for a while, and uh, it's not too loud, it cleans the debris, and you can tell how much debris you're going to be getting in your environment that you're taking out of it. The more you take out here, the less you're going to get into the tape drive. So, um, the other thing we're going to look at is the debris that accumulates, and uh, we're going to show you a little bit of what it looks like. Now this particular dirt is what we received inside of a tape drive or an auto loader from a customer. You can see it's pretty big. Um, the spacing on the head is two microns. I suspect the smallest spec on here is probably eight microns. <laughs> okay, I don't know. We don't have anything to measure it. But the debris buildup is really a problem with the heads for a number of things, which I'm going to go into just in a little bit. But the engineers who developed these tape drives, they understood that the debris was a problem and could be a problem when it was being used for quite a period of time. So they <coughs> had a rather unique situation. And oh, by the way, you know, the cleaning tape does nothing to get the debris buildup off the head, okay? It might knock off some stuff on the head that I'll show you a little bit later, but it primarily just sets software-wise the uh, optimizes the registers for performance. What they decided to do is to make a little brush, okay? And this little brush physically goes up and down on the head, chomp, 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 when you either load a tape or take a tape up. And here's the device itself on the head. And uh, at times they have this set up to do three passes, okay? 
So they realized that accumulation of dirt and debris is a problem uh, for teat drives. So they addressed it that way. You can also see a little bit of debris buildup on the cover of the tape drive. Now this doesn't even qualify for our wall of shame for dirt inside of a tape drive. We've got a lot more that are terrible. <laughs> so it's caused by a couple things. Environmental contaminants is one, and then secondly, using the wrong kind of media for your tape drive. And we're going to cover that on some uh, uh, videos that we have coming up. Rich is going to pan over here to uh, the new topic that we're going to discuss. And what does a head look like, you know? And uh, what, we, uh, what we do is we took a picture of it, a little close-up picture to show you what a head looks like. And uh, what this fella does, this is the head assembly, okay? Now, you put the tape in over here, and it wraps around a spool over here. You've got a couple of rollers here and a roller here. And the end result is it takes it off the take-up spool and loads it back, but takes it off the, uh, the spool with the media on right now <laughs> and moves it to another roller uh, assembly over here. And uh, so this is the actual part of the head that uh, the data is transferred to. Now in looking at this head, you can see this is debris buildup, this is debris buildup, this is debris buildup. This little silver thing here is a wiper, and that keeps the tape two microns away from these little head elements. You can't see them in here, but they're here, and they're also here. They're really tiny, okay? So what happens, tape goes in, you load it, it takes the tape, loads it, brings it across here. And on this particular version of an LTO drive, you have to make four passes. Okay, if a pass means that it starts here, it goes here, and then it moves 2,400 feet of media for a single pass. So once that pass is completed, it will go ahead and go in the reverse direction. Now it doesn't increment the head or move the head, it just realigns the electrons on that particular media from a left orientation to a right orientation, so that's why they can pack so much data. To write a full tape, you have to make four passes, one, two, three, four. Head moves up and down a little bit, okay, so you can uh, go to the other channels. On this particular one, you have uh, 14 channels on it, 12 data channels two servo track channels for uh, tracking the media. So that's why it's so important. And then when you think about airflow, well, how much air are you actually moving through that particular tape drive? If you look at, let's say, a standalone tape drive in a desk environment, okay, it's external. It's got a fan on the power supply. It sucks air through the back of the enclosure. The drive has a little fan on it, and it moves a minimum of 100 cubic feet per minute. That's what the CFM, cubic feet per minute. So you have 100 in a minute. So you just multiply 100 by 60, and you get an hour, and you take an hour and multiply it by 24, and you take that number, then multiply it by 365. You will be amazed at the amount of cubic feet of air you're moving through a standalone tape drive. Now you put that in a library environment, let's say you have six drives, you're going to have six fans, you're going to have additional power supplies, so you're moving a lot of air through there. And all that air, if it has any contaminants, is going to be going through your tape drive and through your uh, end being deposited on your media, accumulating in the head, and you're going to have some issues eventually with it. So that's about all we want to do is cover something about common problems we've been seeing for uh, people with uh, sending tape drives in for repair. And uh, we've got some real other interesting videos coming up too. So if you haven't subscribed to our videos and you want to be alerted when they come out, just subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, 
I, I don't really care how many people subscribe to us, but if you find them interesting, it, it, it's for your benefit, not for mine. I think we've got well over 100,000 views on a lot of our videos, and they're typically more technical products. So, hey, thanks for your time. Appreciate it uh, a lot. And uh, keep us in mind, Midwest Technical Sales and uh, YouTube were known as Repair My Tape Drive. So thank you and have a good day.